Good morning, all of you. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Okay. Here is something I want to share with you. Can you see what I'm sharing with you? Yes. Can you, yes. Okay. I'll just show you some pics. Just tell me what you, what is that you recall by seeing that things, the pictures that I'm showing you. Okay. So what can you see here? I can see a tree. Uh, a tree. Wood falling. Okay. Okay. And what is this? Adi? Gravity. Okay. And who is this? Sai Pranav. Is this Sai Pranav? Adi, who is this? Newton. Okay. No, I can, so I can just see only. Yeah, can't you see what I'm sharing with you? Okay. Now, no, can I you can see, see what I'm sharing? No, I can just see the first picture. Okay. Now, what can you see? See nothing. I can just see first picture. Okay. Now tell me what word comes to your mind when you see the, all these three pictures. What words come no, to your mind? Not all three pictures. Wait, I'll read it. Sai, Sai, first picture is apple falling from the tree. Second uh, picture is solar system. And third one as uh, who is this, Adi? That is Newton. Okay, now can you guess what, uh, tell me one word that is coming to your mind or many words, as many as words that come to your mind when you see these pictures? Uh, I'm thinking yeah. about Newton's inspiration for his laws of motion. Okay, you are thinking about Newton's inspiration for yeah. laws of law. Uh, yeah, you are Sadi. Okay, now what about now? Can you see Sai? I can see a mouse going on to a second page, the planets. Okay, now you can see planets. And the third picture is Newton. Okay. Now tell me what, 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 what comes to your mind when you see these pictures? I see Newton's laws, which we... You can see by Newton's picture, you can uh, remember Newton's laws. Okay, by this one, apple falling from the tree, that is downwards. What do you understand? Gravity. Yeah, gravity. Don't you recall a gravity, Adi? Yeah. Yes. So now we are going to discuss about gravitational force. Okay, whenever you see this apple tree falling down, that is what you remember, right? Yes yeah. or no? Okay, yeah. fine. Now, what is gravity? Uh, what is gravity? Gravity is a force that pulls us down on the earth. Okay. Adi, can, what That's is gravity? Adi? Adi, what is uh, gravity? gravity is the force that pulls all the elements of matter together. Yeah, gravity is the force that pulls all the elements of the matter together. That is called gravity. Fine. Let me present the PPT with you again. Now, Sai, will you please read? There are a few definitions for gravi uh, gravitational force. Will you what please is read? Gravitational force. No, force. Uh. Gravity or gravitational force is a nature hmm. from natural phenomenon. Sorry, natural phenomenon by which all things with mass or energy include plants, stars, galaxies. Planets, stars, galaxies. Planets. Stars, galaxies are brought together one another. Towards one another. One another. Okay. Gravity. Okay, is so one. Okay, please continue. Uh, gravity, gravity is one such force that makes objects affect, uh, affect other at a distance. Objects at a distance. So, uh, what did you understand from this one, Adi? Adi, what did you understand from this one? Uh, I understood that uh, like it's a phenomenon in which galaxies okay. and all are brought to one another. Like they are yeah. pushed, they are pushed or pulled towards each other. Yes, like towards, yes, like a magnet. And also, gravity is one that force makes objects affect other objects at a distance. Is it true? Is it the uh, object needs to touch another object for to affect here? Yes. 
in the gravitational force is one object touching other object was it necessary is it necessary for the one object to touch another object or it can the gravitational can force can work at a distance or at a distance you are holding one object here okay at a distance away from the earth and you leave it it will fall down right isn't it gravitational force yeah it is yes this is grabbed so one object earth this is one object which is away from the earth but still the earth is pulling it towards it when even if it is at some distance correct yeah just like magnet yeah. yeah just like magnet here gravitation force is some uh, force which is affecting another object which is at a distance okay now can you tell me few give me few examples where you see gravitational force in daily life examples of gravitational force one best example is that a fruit falling from the tree okay adi can you give me one example uh sure so like uh, the see whenever whenever a rocket is going up whenever it starts failing like it starts okay. coming down okay so when okay when rocket fails it starts coming down okay sai can you give me one or some examples magnets like a distance okay. of magnets okay okay that is okay that is magnets i'm speaking about gravitational force you are on the earth earth is having gravitational force one That's example is walking. that water is flowing Yes, what you have you seen water flow? Yeah. Any river sports? How is the water flowing? Is water going upward or downwards always? Going downwards always. Why? Because it's gravity pulling it down. Yes, because of the gravity pulling it down. If we are if we, if we are out of uh, ah. Earth orbit, then uh, it's like when you go to space, then water has no gravity in space. That's where the water flows. Very good. Now here is one video that we are going to watch. Sai, will you please present this one? Yeah, sure. He does more than catch errors. You can skip ad. One second. Topic: Gravitational force. Ah. <laughs> Why do you weigh less on the moon? Mm. Huh? Ah. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? It is not possible. You cannot fly on Earth. Please listen. Look, I had warned you. Hmm. Now, why don't you try the same activity on the moon? There, you will weigh much less, hmm. and thus you can fly short distances. <laughs> huh? Hmm. See, I was correct. Hmm. Do you know why you weighed less on the moon? Hmm. To understand this, we need to first learn about weight. Hmm? No, not those <laughs> weights. Oh. Weight is the force with which an object is pulled towards the center of the Earth or any other celestial body. This force is called the gravitational force. Huh? Greater the gravitational force exerted by the celestial body, oh. more will be the weight of an object present on it. So, does huh? this mean that the moon exerts less gravitational force than the Earth? Oh. Bingo! <laughs> you are right. But do you know why? This is because gravitational force is directly proportional to the mass of an object. Greater the mass, greater will be the gravitational force exerted by it and thus, more will be our weight. As the moon has lesser mass than the Earth, it has a weaker gravitational pull and hence, we weigh less on the moon. <laughs> Adapted mind map. Okay, thank you. Sai. I'm in first. Over. Yes, over. You can close this. 
Thank you so much. So what did you understand from this video? You both of you will give your reviews on this. Sai? Like as we uh, as we huh. walk from the earth orbit or atmosphere, huh. the gravity gets lesser and lesser. Okay, very good. Adi, what did you understand from this video? Um I understood that uh, because there is less gravitational pull exerted by the uh, moon, right. there is less uh, gravity because there's more uh, pull, a uh, gravitational pull on the earth, there is more gravity. Okay, so earth is having more gravity than the moon. Why? Because earth is heavier than the moon. So what do you think? Because earth is heavier, so... Uh, your weight, do you think that your weight changes when you go to moon? Well, because there's no gravity, there's no gravity yeah. moon. There is, it is not like there is no gravity. Less gravity. There is, yes, less, less gravity. So what if, if we go to the Jupiter, how are we going to be? We're still going to fly. Or we fly. No, we're going to be sucked to the core. Why? Because Jupiter because is heavier. Jupiter has lots more gravity, you know. Gravity it's a heavier than Earth. You know, it's a so saying. What about the smaller weigh... planets? Ma in Ma Ma yes. Ma it's a saying that if you weigh 45 kgs on Earth, you will weigh 150 in Jupiter. Yes. So Sai is going to be 150 or 120 kgs on Jupiter. If you have 120 kgs, can you even move? No. You'll be no. sucked to the earth, uh, that score of Jupiter or you'll be... Of the Jupiter. Now, what if, if we go to the smaller planets than Earth? What if we go to smaller planets? What is going to happen, you think, regarding of our weight? Ma'am, if we go to Mercury, we'll burn to death. If we go to Venus, we'll burn to death. If we go to Mars, okay. I don't know. If we go to Jupiter, okay. we'll, uh, we'll um, fly around Jupiter till we're dead. Uh, okay. Neptune will be swept away. Uranus okay. will be free froze to death. Okay, Saturn. Saturn will be asteroid cometed to the death. Okay. So Earth now we are only safe compared okay. to the others. Yes, Earth is a safest planet. Okay. Also. Now, so yeah, when you are going to the moon, your weight is reduced, isn't it? When the person goes to moon, his weight reduces. Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. Reason is that Earth, the moon is having lesser gravitational force than Earth. Now, have you heard the word directly proportional in this video? No. Can you anybody explain what is the meaning of directly proportional? Directly proportional is like directly adjacent to a... Uh... It was. It is said that it was said in the video that weight and gravitational force are directly proportional. What does this mean? Have you heard the word? He said it was said in the video directly proportional. Yeah. Yes. Weight and gravitational force are directly proportional. What does this mean? Directly proportional means if well, there are two objects, these two objects are directly proportional means if one object is heavier, the other object also increases. If one thing increases, the other also increases. Gravitational force increases, then weight increases, right? Yes? Yeah, there are two things here. One is gravitational force. Another one is weight. Okay, weight and gravitational force are directly proportional. It means that when there is more gravitational force, there is more weight, isn't it? Yeah. Earth is having more gravitational force, so size weight on Earth is more, right? Yeah. Moon is having less gravitational force, so size will weigh lesser than on Earth on Moon, right? Yeah. So you are going to moon where there is less gravitational force. So what is happening to your weight also? It becomes, it reduces. Yes, it reduces. It means that these both are directly proportional. When one thing is increasing, the other thing also increases. For example, Sai, you are increasing your height. Then will you increase your weight? 
Yeah, of course. Even no, 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 not necessarily, ma'am. I, ma'am, I have okay. kept on increasing. I'm not becoming more so weight for the past three, four years, and my height is okay. Increasing. Once you start eating your proper food, now then you too will increase. But Sai, did you do you increase your weight? You didn't increase your weight at all from past two, yeah. two years. Every morning, my father wakes me. I need to play. Sh I need to play shuttle. I need to do jogging in the evening. Also, I need to do jogging. Ah, uh, uh, okay. I'm fit. I'm fit. How can I get more? Ma'am, being, ma'am, being how we are present necessarily I bad or good. It's both. It's our choice. Okay, fine. So when if you are at the way, will you be at the same weight at the way if you when you were at the height of three feet? Okay. And you have come to five feet. Will you wait both uh, same at uh, the three feet and five feet? God knows whether we will uh, become motta or patla. Or no weight or same weight from five years or ten years. My dear, I'm telling you that when a person's height increases, its weight also increases or not in general. Yeah, it it increases. So we so here height and weight are directly proportional. I'm explaining you what is meant by a directly proportional means. The more electricity you use, the more current bill you get, isn't it? Yeah. So electricity and current bill are directly proportional, right? Yeah. I'm explaining you what is the meaning of directly proportional. Understood? So here in the video, he said more the uh, gravitational force, more the weight. Understood? Okay, let me continue with the PPT. Okay. Okay, okay. here are few instances of gravitational force. Gravitational force is small between the objects. With the small masses, so can you see there are two small objects here? Sai and Adi, yes. can you see the video, PPT that I'm sharing with you? So it is saying that there are two objects. So if the two objects are small, its gravitational force is less. Gravitational force is larger between the objects of larger masses. Here there are two objects which are larger. So gravitational force bit here is more. Understood? Understood or not? Yeah. Now there is one more thing. Can, uh, tell me what happened when the two objects distance increases? Will gravitational force increase or decrease? Increase, of course. Okay, so distance is increasing, so there will be more gravitational force. You are going yeah. away from the Earth atmosphere. So Earth will pull you in the same way? No, it will leave you away. Why? What is happening? Why? What is happening? Because there? we are running out of, we are moving out of the atmosphere. Yes, you are moving out of that gravitational force. Then do you think that Earth can pull towards you, Adi? No, yeah. no, 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 no. Uh, so when the two objects are far farther distance, the gravitational force decreases. That is what it is saying here. If the distance between two objects is increased, gravitational force pulling them together is reduced. And as I have a small dot in the picture, it's showing that one one magnet is here and another magnet is here. But like it's it's a distance, but still it is able to catch that distance. You no, know? that's what we can no. see in this picture. Okay, what do you see? In there are three uh, rows, right? There are three yeah. examples it is given. So first example it is showing that the smaller the objects are, gravitational force is less. If you take bigger objects, then they pull together each other. For example, you throw a piece of cloth and a piece of iron or something down. Which will fall down first? Of course, the iron. iron. Okay, because iron is heavier than the piece of cloth, right? Yeah. Yeah, so the weight, heavy objects are pulled towards the earth quickly. Understood? Okay. 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 So, but the second one instance is that distance. So, distance is more, gravitational force is less. Understood? Now, I can say 
distance and gravitational force are inversely proportional. So can you tell me what is the meaning of inversely proportional? I explained you what is directly proportional. Inversely. Now I told something called inversely proportional. Can you tell me what is inversely proportional, Adi? Ma'am, when uh, ma'am, uh, ma'am, depending on the value of something, like this is okay. my understanding, like when the value goes down, when the value goes down at the same rate as the other uh, other thing, whatever you're comparing it with. So both the values goes down here. One value goes down. What about the other one? If it, both of them go down at the same speed, it's inversely proportional. That's my understanding. If both of them are going down, that is what I call directly proportional. I explained to you. More electricity, more uh, uh, electricity use, now you get more electricity bill, right? Less electricity, yeah. less electricity bill. Now, okay. Sai, think here and tell me what is inversely proportional. Uh, you, If you don't use electricity, so no electricity bill? Like that? No, inversely proportional means if there are two values, one value is increasing, other value will decrease. Okay. Here in this example, like distance from the earth, it is increasing. So gravitational force is decreasing, right? Yes? Yeah. So when the distance decreases, gravitational force increases. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, now can you give me one example where you, you see inversely proportional in your daily life? If one is increasing, one will decrease. Where can you see inversely proportional, Adi? See, ma'am, when, when the number of tigers, see, ma'am, when yes. and wildlife, yes, look, very very tigers are being poached, right? When the number of yes. tigers goes down, the number of deers goes up. Very good. Fantastic number answer. Number of deer goes up, number of trees go down. So they are inversely proportional, right? Number of tigers and number of deer in the forest. Are they inversely proportional? Yes? Yes or no? Okay. Thank you. Very good answer. Now I want you to find out some instances where you see gravitational force in your daily life. Will you come up tomorrow with those examples? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you.